Hello, I'm Mark Felling, President of Broadened Horizons. I'm here today to demonstrate to you Broadened Horizons Power Grip Assisted Grasp Orthosis. It's designed for C4 and C5 quadriplegics who have a three or, le three or less muscle grade uh, wrist extension strength. So that's lifting up your wrist like this. Typically those C4 and C5 quadriplegics often will have kind of a floppy wrist. I actually had a tendon transfer in this wrist, which gives me about a muscle grade two wrist extension. Ah, anyway, the power grip assisted grasp orthosis. Open and close this to your fingers so you can pick up and hold things. Like a can of soda, a fork, a spoon, pen, eating soup, or other common activities of daily living. Maybe picking up a magazine. One of the things to emphasize is I can reach out, pick up something in my environment, move around my home, and then set it down far away from me again. The power grip orthosis is composed of the orthosis with the, with the actuator mounted on it that opens and closes the fingers. You'll see I have a wire running up my arm that's almost invisible, or definitely as if I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Uh, it runs up my arm, down the side of my shirt, and plugs into the controller, which is simply a small box velcroed underneath the seat of the, the winter seat. Uh, it runs off of the included lithium ion battery pack, which lasts two to three days, or it can plug into the wheelchair charging socket conveniently, run right off your wheelchair batteries, using Broad End Horizon's power to go power grip uh, winter battery power interface. The power grip is controlled by two methods, well, any ability switch for that matter, uh, sip and puff, push buttons. The, what we include are the roughneck dual push button switches, which I have mounted right here on my wheelchair armrest. When I push one, it closes my hand. When I nudge the other, just using the side of my, my left hand or the hand I'm not putting the power grip on, it opens and closes my hand. The roughneck dual push button switches uh, were designed for this abusive environment of being mounted on the wheelchair armrest to get run into doorways and everything. Mine have been on here for over six years and they still work like they're brand new. So, I also today have a EMG switch hooked up with a sensor right here on my platysma muscle. You don't even see it. Uh, and the platysma muscle is right by your clavicle bone. And in that way, as I'm moving around, as I'm talking, as I'm chewing, my hand isn't ready to activate. But it allows me to control my hand completely hands-free. As you can see, for somebody who has movement in only one arm, for example, and can't activate the rough neck to push button switches. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate for you uh, picking up the can of soda, uh, using only one arm with the EMG switch, uh, opening the can of soda with my teeth, pouring it into the glass, setting the can of soda down, picking up the glass, taking a drink, and then I'll move on to picking up the spoon. And what you can see in this case of the spoon, I have added uh, a small piece of kind of uh, rubber tubing um, that can be picked up in any hardware store. It makes it just a little bit easier for me to grab, although I can just as easily uh, go to a restaurant uh, and use standard uh, silverware that is non, not adapted or, or modified in any way. So I'll pick up and use both of those. And finally, I'll pick up a pen and, and write a bit, um, kind of demonstrating some of the most common activities. So let's start. First, I have to make sure my hand is open all the way. And I switch the direction of the power grip by doing kind of a double click with my muscle. So now I've got a firm grasp on the can of soda. You'll see right now the can of soda is closed, so it's not indenting at all. But you get an idea of how tight the power grip grips. Uh, as I open the can of soda, I can collapse the sides just slightly to get a firmer grasp on it. Obviously, alright, I got a good firm. You can see the sides of the can of soda indented just ever so slightly. 
but not so far as it's going to completely crush my fingers and, and hurt me. Of course, I don't want to keep holding this for half an hour. You have to be aware if your fingertips start to turn purple or, or white, you know, just like anyone else, you want to give them a break. first attempt doing this with the uh, EMG switch, so I spilled a little dribble, but I got the job done. Now I'm going to let go of the can of soda. This is, I just started using the EMG switch this morning, so obviously with a little practice I get a bit better. And I pick up this, the uh, glass and take it right. which of course can be wine or whatever your favorite beverage is. Uh, by the way, this particular glass I found from Ikea. I like the, the wide stem. Now I'm kind of switching back over to using the uh, rough neck switches to demonstrate both method, methods of doing that. I'm going to push the can of soda and glass out of my way here so I can bring in the bowl of water in which case we're simulating uh, soup uh, or, or soup broth, which is obviously very uh, fluid and a little more challenging. So let's switch back over to sticking up the spoon. And I'm going to stick this into my hand. I like just to kind of wedge the back of the spoon with the handle into the power grip between my hand and the orthosis. Gives me a firm grasp. And I nudge the spoon to get it at just the right angle. And you'll see I can hold the spoon so that I can pick up something like soup uh, without spilling. That's something that's very challenging with just a, a common cuff. Now I like to lean over the bowl, so if I do dribble or, or uh, if I do dribble any, anything I, I uh, would not spill. You can see I have water in the spoon. I eat some of my soup. I'm going to set the spoon down. Get using the switch hands free. So I can be doing all of these activities using either two arms with the rough neck dual push button switches or using only one arm uh, with the EMG switches. Or even if I prefer, I can use the EMG switches if I do have both arms, uh, just to do more things completely hands-free, or maybe my left hand is occupied holding something. I can still activate the I can still activate the orthosis uh, by just flexing my platysma muscle, which I'll do here. So if I'm holding the fork down, I put it around. and I close my hand uh, without having to use my other hand to do with the switches. Of course, I could have done it with the switches also. Give it a fork, pick it up, position it where I want to, and then close my hand. And now I've got a firm grasp on a regular fork. I can eat at a restaurant just like everyone else without any, any special adaptive switches. And finally, let's, uh, let's write a bit. Uh, so I have a pen here with a little bit of rubber grip at the tip. Uh, obviously those tend to work a little better, although I do use any common pencil or pen uh, that happens to be available. between my fingertips, I'm going to close my hand, get a grasp on the pen, and I like to position the pen at just a little bit more of an angle, find it easier for me to write, and finally I will sign my name on that check, or the credit card bill at that restaurant I just ate at, and that's it.
So with the power grip, assisted grasp orthosis, uh, even somebody who has uh, floppy wrists, which I do on my right hand here, stabilizes your wrist. You don't have to wear a passive wrist splint. Of course, it does look a little different, although, although when you are wearing it, uh, people are absolutely fascinated by the additional function you get. You quickly forget about it. So don't be concerned about uh, cosmetic issues. I think uh, that's quickly eliminated. Of course, if you really are very concerned about that, uh, you can easily take the orthosis on and off when you're not using it. Uh, however, I like to put it on in the morning and leave it on uh, all day until I go to bed, as do most of our customers. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions. The power grip is available. Uh, what you want to do is print out the form on our website, take a copy of that to your doctor who would write you a prescription or a referral to go see your local orthodist, take a second copy of that form to your orthodist, who will uh, take measurements of your hand using the orthometry forms available on our website on the Power Grip page at the bottom. Uh, for either Jake Orthopedics or Becker Oregon, they're the two biggest national suppliers of orthotics equipment, and they actually make the orthosis, custom make it to the exact measurements of your hand, uh, or a mold for that matter. And so your orthodist will order that from Jaco or Becker, and they can contact us if they have any questions. And finally, uh, after a few weeks, your orthodist will have you come back in a second time to do a final fitting, make sure everything works for you well, send you on your way, and then take care of billing your insurance. Power Grip is fully covered by Medicare, Medicaid, or private insurance using existing L codes, L, L code 3904, which is also posted on the forum and on, our, on the Power Grip page on our website. Thank you for your time this afternoon.